Jaguar the band dog. Brr, brr, listen. The importance of developing a relationship with a thorough breeder. If you're gonna buy your dog, it's a process. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you talk to people that may um make sure you talk to people that may have a dog from them. Email them. Ask some questions. Your breeder shouldn't get offended by the questions that you ask. Now, a lot of breeders might feel like you're wasting your time, but that's a breeder you, know, you don't want to. But some breeders are going to answer all your questions because they, are, they, they stand by what they say. So that's very, very important to develop a relationship with the dog because we know humans, humans get greedy. They be scamming. Some breeders, their dogs be having problems. Um... Not, not just talking about hips, we're talking about we, we have some breeders, they breed in dogs with all types of allergies and heart problems and all types you don't want that, because the worst case scenario you get a dog, you get attached to it and, and, then, and they not living up to what they're doing and then if you get a scam type breeder and they don't want to give you your money back a lot of this can be avoided by asking thorough questions and be patient, but I know when you got your mind made up, you want your dog also what you want to do too is join Facebook groups. The best thing about Facebook is just the groups. If Facebook no, didn't have groups, I wouldn't even be on Facebook. I just like the groups. So you can learn a lot from the groups. Even if, even if you're under the group, if you don't want to use your own name, you can you can be you can say anonymous member and it'll just come up anonymous if you don't want to use your name. Just don't be afraid to ask questions, even if they tough questions. You know, ask for pictures. You know, you want a protection dog, okay, but you, or you, you're a hog hunt, you, you want a hog hunting dog, right? But you gotta, um, you may wanna get a presser, right? But you just want them to um, breed hogs. So you're gonna have to ask some specific questions for hog hunting because you might get a dog that don't, that's not really too fond of hunting hogs, but they might be personal protection dogs and that's might not what you want. Or you might be the type that want a personal protection, but you you know you but you get a dog that's hog hunting, or you want hog hunting, you get a dog that's personal protection. You, you, you get what I'm saying. Or you might get lucky and do both. Or you might a dog want a dog that's personal protection, but they too friendly. You know what I'm saying? Extra extra friendly, like a pit bull or something like that. A lot of pit bulls be extra friendly. So you gotta ask these real thorough questions on what you got the dog for. Now, if you want a dog, you want a pit bull, you don't want them to be personal protection, but you still want them to hunt hogs, you know, ask to see their parents, see the bloodline, see some videos. And once again, use them Facebook groups and try to find out people. You can ask the question, hey, has anybody but a dog for this such and such a breeder and, and befriend somebody? Now, everybody is not friendly. So, you know, I try to, you know, help people as much as possible when it, have questions about the American Sentinel because I understood my situation. I was like, I just was like, I wonder how it is. But now I try to give back to the people. And that's, this is what this channel was about, to give back and to learn, you know what I mean? So y'all can learn, we can learn from each other. But yeah, make sure you develop that relationship with the breeder, you know? Because there's a lot of breeders out there and some brands, some breeds are even more popular. You might want to, a lot of bully breeds, a lot of Malinois, in so many ways, Dutch Shepherds, German Shepherds, ask questions, you know? Ask about the hips. If they ain't showing the hips for the parents, the elbows and the hips, you wanna make sure that's there. Cause like I say, you don't wanna buy a dog, you want it to work and perform. You might wanna buy a dog to do sport and they can't perform cause they all hurt or whatever. And they don't offer you to do. That's why it's, it's, you want somebody to give you the offer. That's why I like Lee. Shout out to Lee Robinson. He got a two-year guarantee on on the hogs or the protection. Now, if you get some some of the dogs come out as pet class, but they're not gonna really do too much. But you know, but I'm sure, he probably still even got a uh, thing based on health on that too. So Lee a thorough dude. So you know what I mean. But yeah, make sure you make sure you develop that relationship, man. And don't be afraid to ask questions. If you ask somebody a question and they get offended and they don't wanna, they act like you wasting your time. Imagine if they feel like that, you don't even bought nothing from them. Once you buy something from them, why would they spend time with you? I probably, I wouldn't even buy nothing from them. That's like, 
buying a car for somebody with bad customer service. I'll just wait. You know what I mean? Because most dogs, you can get them. Most most dogs that you get is, is going to have other breeders. Even if you have to go outside the country, it's going to have other breeders that have the same dog that you're looking for. It might take you a little bit longer, but you want to you want to you wanna buy a dog from somebody that's thorough. Make sure, like I said, ask questions, research the breed on your own, and befriend people and try to learn from people on Facebook on your own. And use your common sense and your intuition. And um, yeah, do that right there. And don't forget to subscribe, share, smash the thumbs up. We grinding, baby. Peace.